to Lord Tebbit, who was in the Brighton Hotel when it was bombed by the IRA back in 1984. The attack killed five people and left Lord Tebbit's wife paralysed. Uh, good morning to you both. Lord Tebbit, what are your thoughts on the death of Martin McGuinness? Well, our principal thought is that the world is a sweeter and cleaner place. How would you describe him? Pardon? How would you describe him? A coward. A murderer. Um, what else? Do you accept his significant role in the peace process? Yes, he had a significant role because of his cowardice. He knew that the IRA had been penetrated to its highest levels by British intelligence and that um, uh, before long he would have been arrested and charged with some of the mur many murders which he personally committed. And so he opted for the coward's way out and said, oh, I'm a man of peace. Do you think the peace process could have come about without the role he played, without his contribution? Oh, yes, after he'd been killed. What do you mean? Well, oh, he, he might well have been killed by um, British um, uh, forces in one of his acts of terrorism. Uh, or, of course, he might have been arrested. He knew that he was shortly to be arrested and charged with murder. Um, and uh, so it, it would have put him out of the running in the peace process. Uh, Airy Neve who was murdered by Irish Republicans, as you may remember, um, would have been, had he not been murdered, Margaret Thatcher's uh, Secretary of State for Northern Ireland. And it was his view, and mine too, that the first requirement for lasting peace and justice was that the IRA should be militarily defeated. So you believe Martin McGuinness saw the peace process as... As, as a way, as as a way of escaping justice. Right. When you hear the tributes from your Prime Minister Theresa May, from former Prime Minister Tony Blair, what do you think then? Well, uh, when I hear um, Tony Blair talking about McGuinness as Martin, um, I must say that it, it's difficult not to be ill. Um, but of course, uh, we know Blair of old, and um, uh, you know he was the hero of Iraq and many other. Uh, acts of policy um, and I repeat again that we would have got a more soundly based peace with less deaths if Airy Neve had been allowed, been alive to carry out his policy as Theresa far as forgiving um, uh, McGuinness of course and somebody mentioned that um, he can't be forgiven because forgiveness requires confession of sins and repentance uh, he never confessed his sins. He never repented. Theresa May said Martin McGuinness made, quote, an essential and historic contribution to Northern Ireland's peace process, playing a defining role in leading the Republican movement away from violence. He, he certainly did play a role, but it was a role which was played out of cowardice and nothing else. Can I ask how your wife is? Um... That's not particularly relevant, but uh, she's been crippled and in pain for the last 30 odd years. Indeed, I've uh, suffered pain every day for the last 30 odd years. Um, but my thoughts are far more with many others in Northern Ireland, particularly the families of, that disappeared. And um, as many of us know, that disappeared had to disappear after they had been murdered in order to conceal the manner in which they had died. There will be some people watching our programme this morning who are too young to remember what happened on the 12th of October 1984. Uh, the Denai RA bomb ripped apart that Brighton Hotel during the Conservative Party conference. The target was the Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher. Five people were killed. As you've explained, Lord Tebbit, uh, your wife was badly injured and has experienced pain since, as have you. What do you think about that act when you reflect on it? Well, it was just a plain, straightforward act of murder. And um, the poor little creature who actually put the bomb in the, in the hotel, um, he was an, a nothing creature. Uh, but nowhere 
have we ever had a confession from those who planned and organized it, who paid for it, who produced the bomb, who gave it to him to put in that bathroom. Um, not a word of contrition from them.